Hello friends and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy Virtual Classroom. Today's lecture is going to be about the qualities of good timber. This can come as a question in your exam. Write a short note on the qualities of good timber. So you can take down notes while looking at this lecture and prepare for your exam. So let us now see the qualities of good timber. The first and foremost quality of timber is that it should be well seasoned. You know that when a tree is cut, freshly cut, it contains a lot of sap or moisture and therefore it cannot be directly used in construction work. The moisture from the timber has to be removed before it is used in construction. This process of removing of the moisture is called as seasoning. This, a separate video has been made on this which will explain what is seasoning and the types of seasoning. You can refer to that video for understanding more about seasoning. So normally what we see is that the moisture content in the timber should be between 12 to 16 percent for naturally seasoned timber and between 4 to 6 percent for artificially seasoned timber. Next property is that the timber should have a uniform color and texture. So by looking at the piece of timber you will easily make out whether it has got a uniform color and texture. If the timber shows white patches then it will indicate that the timber is unseasoned or it is not properly seasoned and therefore it is not a good quality timber. A darker color of timber would normally be present for timbers which are obtained from hardwood trees and such darker color timber is much more stronger than timber which is of a lighter color. Next property is that to understand the whether the uh, timber is properly seasoned or not a test would be that you can strike the timber piece with a hard object and if you hear a metallic or ringing sound then we can say that the timber is well seasoned. If it is a dull sound then that would indicate that the timber has not been well seasoned or it could have some sort of decay. Next property is that the timber should be free from attack by fungi that is especially dry rot fungus and wet rot fungus. What happens is that if the timber is attacked by these fungi it will lose its strength. Next quality of timber is that it should be free from attack of white ants. White ants or termites will cause the timber to lose its strength and therefore timber which is affected by white ants should not be used. Next quality is that the timber should have straight and closely spaced fibers. So if you look at the piece of timber you will see that it can consists of fibers or greens. If these fibers or greens are straight and closely spaced that will indicate that the timber is of a good quality. Timber should be free from warping and twisting and it should be free from defects such as dead knots, shakes and cracks. These are different defects in timbers. We'll learn more about them in a separate video. Next is that the timber should be easy to work with. What it, mean, what it means is that we should be able to easily saw, plane, cut or make vortices, holes without damaging the instruments. This is called as the workability of timber. Next point is that it should be strong enough to take both compressive and tensile stresses. Timber as a material itself is good in taking both compressive and tensile stresses and therefore when it is used in construction, timber should not split or crack as a result of the compressive or tensile stresses. Next quality of timber is that it should be resilient. What it means is that it should have the ability to come back to its original shape after deformation. This is more important in cases where timber is used as a flooring material especially for badminton courts, gymnastics courts or dance halls and so on. So these were the qualities of good timber. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give us a like and also share the video with friends. Subscribe to our channel to get more such videos.
If you have any queries, write to us at architectsacademy at gmail.com. Thank you.